everybody, it's Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. This is week number three as we continue our Better Together. Now Jeannie really likes that popping of ideas. This particular part is going to make it look like icing on a cake and then we're also going to get ourselves involved with the Alpine stitch. So that's not something I've done in the, in the, in the past really. And so she goes, I'm just gonna throw it out there and I'm like, you go ahead and do that. <laughs> um, but it was really quite exciting to see how she kind of com uh, combined all that texture into this next part of week number three. So I had to step back, do my dance as we continue our Better Together Afghan with you. Let's continue to week number three and let's head on into the studio now. So let's uh, take a closer look at week number three. In week number three we're going to be building out from the Catherine wheel stitch that we just did and then building out here. So we have some fun stuff. We have some alpine stitching. We have front post, back post. We also have this fun uh, thing that we'd already done before. A thing. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing that again and once we get to a certain point we're going to mirror what you see here and mirror it the other direction. So kind of working our way opposite to what we just did. So it's kind of a way to look at it. So here when you see this uh, um, uh, posting here going on this will raise up and then give you the illusion of like a halfway point. So without further ado let's move on now into round number 27 using the color B. So using the color B just create a slip knot and do a standing single crochet right into the chain two space of a corner. You insert in, pull through, and then pull through the two and that's a standing single crochet. Chain two to turn the corner and then single crochet back in. So this round number 27 what we're going to do is that we're gonna apply one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around except for the corners of course in the chain two space you'll apply one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. So continue around and I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number 27. So I'm coming all the way back around and I'm just gonna finish this off. Slip stitch to the beginning and then fasten off this color and we'll move on to round number 28 next. Moving on to number 28, just put on color A and then let's go to the corner and fasten on and chain three. So one, two, three and then what I need you to do is put in a double crochet into the same one to the same corner. So each one of these single crochets all the way around is gonna get one double crochet and in the corners it'll be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. It's a nice easy round again and using the color A and one double crochet in each in the corners, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. When you come all the way around you're just going to double crochet right into the last stitch that we have and then that's it. Okay so you've already, uh, oh sorry then you have to do the corner so that's two double crochet <laughs> and what we're going to do then is just chain two and slip stitch to the top of the first chain three to finish. We're gonna finish off this color and we're gonna start a new color next for round number 29. Let's begin round number 29. So we're just gonna start off with this color using the color uh, C as in cat. We're gonna go into the chain two space of a corner and in this time we are going to chain three. So just attach it first, one, two, three and double crochet into the same spot. So this is just a matter of just uh, going back, front post, back post, front post, back post all the way to the other side, uh, all the way to the corner. So you're just gonna wrap the hook and do a front post double crochet in the first one and then the next one is a back post. So wrap, come from behind I'm laying down that straggler so I can catch it underneath and then the next one is a front post trouble sorry for front post double and then the next one is a back post and you're gonna continue to do that all the way across. The very last stitch before you hit the corner should be a front post double crochet. You'll see that in the instructions as well and then um, you will just continue then into the corner of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet and uh, that's what you all you just need to do. So front post, back post, front post, back post. I'll see you at the end of round number 29. So I wanna show you a little secret as I'm finishing up. So I should have 89 stitches per side uh, when I go to do this. If you happen to have an extra one, which is quite possible, um, you know, things happen. So what I like to do is that, uh, for example, I know that I need to finish with, with a front post double crochet. So as I'm going along, I actually have an extra stitch here. That's what I wanna show you. So 
I'm going to come across and I realize that if I do a front post and then a back post then I know it's wrong. So how I would do this if I were you and you were me and it's an easy way to hide it is that I know that these two if I put them as a back post so put both of them as a back post double crochet and then put the last one as a front post double crochet it's a really easy way to hide that in. So you see it now because I'm showing it to you but once this afghan starts building out you can see that you can hide it pretty good. So then just chain two at the end of this and then just slip stitch it and then we're gonna finish off this color today and then we're gonna move on to the next color for round number uh, 30 which will be back to the color A. So it's a kind of an easy way, it's a cheat but that's the whole point of these afghans is to figure out things when it goes wrong instead of having a frog. So I'll see you in round number 30 next. So let's move along to round number 30. So you can just go into a chain two space and we're gonna do a standing single crochet to begin. and then chain two and one single crochet in. So your corners will all be single crochet, chain two, single crochet. You're only gonna apply one single crochet to each one of the stitches going all the way across to the next corner and then turn your corner. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet and then single crochet along each stitch to get there. So do this, this is round number 30. So I'm coming all the way around just single crocheting in each of the stitches the corner is already done. So just make sure that when you get to the last stitch you're going to join to the first single crochet and be done with it. So get rid of this color and we're now going to move on to round number 31 using the color B. Let's move on to round number 31 going back to the color B. Go to the chain two space at the corner and attach. Chain three counts as a double and then double crochet in. Nice easy round again. This round number uh, 31 we are just going to single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around. That's it. So then in the corners two single or two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet and I'll see you at the end of this round. So one double in each and then easy corners around. So I'm coming up to the end of the round and there will be two single crochets in the first one and then chain two and then slip stitch to the first one like that and then we're gonna fasten off and then we'll start round number 32 next. So round number 32 is exactly kind of what we did here. The difference is, is that where this first one comes in after the corner it's the second single crochet in, it in order to maintain the count. So to keep an eye on that and let's begin round number 32 using the color A. So let's begin and we're gonna start off in the corner. I would uh, consider doing a standing single crochet. So just going in, pop through, okay and then chain two and single crochet in. So as we begin this round we're going to single crochet into the first double crochet right there and then we're gonna begin the fancy footwork. So when we go down and we stretch we're gonna stretch to the second one right here. It's a long stretch but it works. So you're just gonna treble, a front post treble into the second one down here and come all the way back up. Now that one counts as the next double crochet that it's sitting in front of. So then the next three are a single crochet. So now we're gonna do a two together just like you did before. So wrapping the hook going into the same one you were just in. So down there and then pull through, pull through two and two but don't finish that and then wrap the hook and stretch over to the fourth one. So one, two, three, go to the fourth. And you're gonna do this all the way across. So pull through. That counts as the one stitch that it's sitting in front of and so you'll single in front of the next. Okay, so three singles in a row. So let's do it again. So just wrap going into the one you were just in. Don't finish it though. Wrap twice. Coming in, pull through, pull through two and two. Pull through everything. It's It counts as the one it's sitting in front of and single crochet in the next three. Please do this all the way across to the corner and then I'll see you there in just a moment just to verify you know how to turn. So as you come across to the end the second last one is the one that you'll be in and that's just because you're keeping in the right counts. 
you're putting in your three single crochets. You still have two stitches left before the corner. So this one here is the last one that goes around the same one. And then single crochet in the last one before the corner and then turn. So it's gonna be one single crochet, chain two and one single crochet. To start a new corner again or to start a new side is just single crochet in the first one and then begin again and remember to go to the second one of the same color if you opted to use the same color but it's the second one in way down there and then continue along as you know it. Coming up to the end of number 32 just following the pattern as I know it just slip stitch to the beginning single crochet in the corner and then fasten off and we'll begin with uh, color B for round number 33. Round 33 is a nice easy one. You just go to the chain two space corner and attach with the slip stitch. So pull through and then chain two, uh, three and then two double crochet into the same one. Like that. Okay and then what we're going to do then is that we're gonna go into one uh, sorry one double crochet into each going all the way around and then the corners will be two double crochet chain two two double crochet sorry I hesitated there for a moment. So just to continue to do that and then we'll just uh, meet you back up here. So it's a nice easy round of just straight double crochets. When you get all the way back around you're just going to continue along. Just make sure one uh, double crochet in each. Finish that first corner with uh, two double crochet and we're going to keep this yarn color going one more time. So we're going to join this to the top with the half double crochet. So the top of the first chain three just pull through and then pull through all three and that's a half double crochet join. Let's then uh, move on now to round number 34. Chain up one and we're gonna do um, one single crochet into the same one uh, to the same post and now we're just do, uh, going to start down the sides. It's one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around and in the corners it's one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet and I'll see you at the end of round number 34. So I'm coming to the end of number 34 and I want to just chain two and then join to the beginning single crochet to finish that corner. So let's get rid of this yarn and we're now going to move on to color C for round number 35. Let's begin round number 35. 35 and 36 is the same color and what we were doing here which I didn't tell you before because I don't want to boggle your mind is that we were prep preparing sorry for the alpine stitch. So let's uh, begin to do this stitch now and we're going to start off and we're going to just attach with a chain one Sorry, it's to, to, to chain one into the same chain two space and just provide a little bit of extra slack. So just attach and then chain one. So what I want you to do is that we are going to do something special in this particular one and I would recommend to you that you grab four stitch markers so it can be just bare yarn. Identifying a half double crochet when you come all the way around is kind of hard to do. So what I would recommend to you is that you do the following. So we're gonna start off and the first one in the chain two space is gonna be a half double crochet and so you'll be able to see that when you come back around. But if you're not sure use one of the stitch markers of the four and just place it into the half double crochet stitch and you'll see it. Half double crochets are just in a slightly different spot and that's where people go wrong with their counts. So just leave it in there as a stitch marker and then we'll carry on from this point. So once the one is in there we're going to double crochet the next single crochet. It'll make sense in just a bit. We determined a half double crochet would be sitting better that's why we did it. So now we're going to do a front post double crochet. So we're just gonna go wrap the hook and coming down to the very first one two rows below and you're gonna do a front post double crochet and then you're gonna double crochet the next stitch. So this one that is in is there is counting as the one that's sitting directly behind it. So double crochet the next one and then front post double crochet the next one. So skip the next one and come over and you're gonna do that all the way across. So then double crochet the next one and then double crochet front post the next one 
and you're gonna do that all the way. So you see it's kind of overlapping and then when you get to your corners you're gonna do a half double crochet and then a chain two and then a half double crochet but I will meet you there because I want to put in those stitch markers so that you can see it for next time and it's something that I did during the prototype and I think it, you should probably do it too. So I'll be right back on the first corner. As we come to the first corner I'm just alpine stitching all the way. I'm going to double crochet the very final one and then the corners have one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet but watch what I do. I'm gonna do a half double crochet and before you dare move on I want you to mark that stitch with a stitch marker. Chances are if you're gonna go wrong this is where you're gonna go. So you put a stitch marker right where that half double crochet is before you move on and then chain two and then half double crochet back into that and before you move on again put the stitch marker in the oh that was a double put the stitch marker in the half double crochet at the top. This one here people tend to miss and you end up missing stitches. So put the other side of that stitch marker in the other one and you'll be able to see it when you come back around on where it is. Let's pull everything nice and tight. So you're gonna start with the alpine stitch again starting in the first one just double crochet and then jumping down front post double into the first one and keep doing that all the way around and see how, how you have your stitch marker in. You'll be able to see that next time and it will make your life a lot easier. So I'll see you at the end of this round and we'll carry on from this point. So coming all the way back around I'm just gonna do a half double crochet in the last chain two space and we're going to join this to the first half double crochet with the half double crochet itself and keep this color going. Now I want you to move that stitch marker that we just had in there and pull it to the first half double crochet on this side so you can see it in the future. Keep this color on one more time. Chain up one and we're gonna do a single crochet into the same chain two space and then you can see where is the first half double crochet because it's marked. Usually people go right here and then we'll add a stitch. So you just gotta watch out for that and then you're just gonna do one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around. In the corners it'll be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. So keep this color going and I'll see you at the end of this round, round number 36. I'm coming to the end of number 36 and I'm just doing my single crochet. Go to do a single crochet right in the beginning where that half double crochet was doing the join and then chain two and then join it to the beginning single crochet. So we're now gonna move on to rounds number 37 and 38. There's a slight change in the way that you start 37 but 38 is exactly what I just did with the single crochet. So let's have, fasten this off and begin 37 next. So let's begin round number 37. So we have the alpine stitch. We're gonna do it one more time but if you remember when we started the alpine stitch is that we did the corner and then we did one double crochet and then we dropped. Because of the stitch counts we cannot do the same stitch count from the corner. So you'll wanna do this from all of them. So let's just join it to the corner and then chain one and it's gonna be a half double crochet and I'm recommending you also move that stitch marker. So do your first half double crochet first and then mark the corners like you did before with the, just use the same stitch marker. It's okay. Just pull it on up. So this time to keep the balance of the counts you're going to want to put in one single crochet in the next two and then drop and let me show you why. The next stitch here is where we wanna play and then we're going to double crochet on top of this one. So the very next stitch down here is actually just before this one and that's the one you need. So you're just gonna do a front post double crochet down Okay and then the next one is gonna be a double crochet up top. Okay and then the next one is going down and etc. So this means that when you get to the corner the last two stitches before the corner will be a double crochet. The corners will be a single crochet chain sorry will be a half double crochet chain two half double crochet and etc. When you start it in the new corner uh, the next side remember that you'll do the 
the half double crochet is in the corner, the first two are doubles and then you drop. So I'm gonna leave this round for you. Also round number 38 is the same thing as what we just did. We'll do a single crochet round using the same color. So when you come all the way around you'll wanna join it. When you do the single crochet with the half double crochet join, chain one, one single crochet into each and then the corners obviously have a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So please proceed now for rounds number 37 which is this and then 38 which is just a single crochet all the way around. I'll see you at the end of those two rounds next. So I'm coming up to the end of round number 38 and in round number uh, 39, 40 and 41 we're gonna do something really unique. It's the hound's tooth stitching. You can only do it when you reverse the afghan to go backwards and I will show you that in just a moment. So finish off one single crochet into the last and then chain two and then let's be done with this particular color and then we're gonna be moving on to the color B. And we have a bit of explaining to do because the next three rounds are actually identical for stitch work but how you attack it is a different thing. So let's uh, begin to round number 39 next. So round number 39, 40 and 41 is the hounds two stitch. So originally when we designed this thing, well this is my particular uh, concept to add, is that it does not look good if you keep going around in a continuous circle. So you have to turn to go backwards uh, every other one in order to make it work. We're only gonna do three rounds like this. So when we start round number 39, we're looking at the good side. We're gonna turn it around and go to the back side to start and we'll do all the way around. Round number 40 then, we then get to the end, we turn it and we put it back to the right side. And then round number 41, we turn back and go to the wrong side and do the exact same stitching. So the stitching to go in all three rounds is identical. The only difference is, is that we are going to then just go right side or wrong side. The first two rounds, rounds number 39 and 40 will be the same color. So color B and then in 41 we'll be changing off to uh, uh, number A, so the color A. So that's the only difference that you're gonna have and the way that we're gonna start stitching is exactly the way that you're gonna go about. So what I'll do is that we'll get ourselves started next and let's grab the color B and let's begin. So let's begin. We're gonna turn the afghan backwards so you can see all the slip knots that I have and I just have to weave in my ends later. So we're gonna go to the chain two space corner and we're going to attach. And so rounds number 39, 40 and 41. So if you're starting round number 41 with a new yarn you'll start the same way. So attach it with a uh, standing single crochet and that's your first stitch in. So corners are technically always gonna be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. The next stitch out is going to be a double crochet. And then the next stitch is going to be a single crochet and that's the ha uh, that's kind of like the crinkle stitch and that's how it will work. So basically every other one is a different stitch. You do get used to doing it and what this is doing is it's putting texture on the right side of the project. That's why I had a, you turn it backwards. So when you get to the next corner you'll put one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet into the corners and you'll come all the way back around to the very beginning. When you start the next round you'll start exactly the same way. In this case we're gonna keep yellow going. Single crochet will be the first stitch and then the next stitch out will be a, a, a double crochet and the double crochet will sit right directly on top of a single crochet when you go to do that. It'll keep its balance. Therefore it'll cause it to come back and give you the stitches that you see within the photograph. So what I'm gonna do for you is that I'm going to go all the way around and I'll meet you back at the, uh, at the, at the beginning which is gonna be right here and just make sure that you go single, double. So in your head just go single, double, single, double and you will get used to doing the opposite to each other and then in the next round when we go to start that you'll be able to see, see that's a double, that's a single. So if it's a double next time it, a single will be here and a double will be sitting on top of the singles and you'll physically be able to see it and uh, you'll notice that if you're making a mistake right away. So please do this all the way around and I'll see you at the end of round number 39 to make sure that you turn to go back on the right side doing the exact same thing that I'm about to sh that I'm showing you right here. So I'm coming all the way back around and in the chain space of the corner you're going to apply one single crochet and then join it to the other single crochet with the half double crochet join. 
Now because we do that when we're gonna keep the color. So we're on the back side of it. You can see the tails. So it's a good thing I probably left them on there for a visual. So now we're gonna turn and work and go on the right side of the project. So you will see that a bit of a texture is on the front side. In order to keep that texture though we have to then work on the right side now and so the texture will then head to the back side but which will make this jump up. If you keep going in a continuous circle you won't see it at all. So we're gonna start off just the same way we did. So chain up one, one single crochet in the first like this. See this is a single, that's a double. So when it's a single you're just gonna go as a double and you're gonna do this in the next round too. In the next round when we go to switch it back to the opposite side you're going to change the color to the color A. So if that was a single it's now a double so it, you now can just physically start. So this will be single and then double and so if you know what to look for and you can say that in your head you'll have the opposites to each other and you'll see this pattern really work out. In the corners when you get those just as recap it's one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet and go all the way around. I'm going to leave the next round, round number 41 to you. You're gonna be back on the wrong side and just doing exactly what I'm showing you using the color A and then we're gonna pick up then from round number 42. Uh, from that point. So you're just doing exactly what you're seeing just with a different color for the next round, round number 41. So I'll see you at the end of round 41 and we'll continue into 42 and we'll be almost done this particular section of our stitch along. So I'm just coming up to the end of row number 41 and I am working on the wrong side and I'm just gonna single crochet into the beginning space and then chain two to join. So let's say get rid of this color and we're gonna switch back to the right side so we will, we will turn this over and then begin round number 42. We will revisit the sounds tooth again in the future so just watch for when you need to turn but that's not this week. It'll be um, next time there's a video. So we're gonna, let's turn our work and begin on the right side using the color C. Let's begin round number 42 starting off. We're gonna go to it, we're looking at the right side of the project and we're gonna go to the chain two space. Join with this standing single because it's easier. So that's the first one. So the corners will be single crochet, chain two, single crochet. You've already done this before and just applying one single crochet into each of the stitches. Except for the corners there will be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. Please do this all the way around for round number 42. When you get all the way back around you're just single crocheting right into the final um, chain two space corner and then chain two and then slip stitch to the beginning. So let's get rid of this color. Let's move on. We have two more rounds to do and let's begin the next round next. Let's begin round number 43. We're using the color D. We're gonna go into the chain two space and we're gonna do half double crochets again for the entire round. So just pulling up and attach and chain one and then you're gonna do a half double crochet into the same chain two space. And what I'm recommending like before when you get to the corners just mark your half double crochet stitches with the stitch marker and then so you can keep an eye on them. So corners are gonna be one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet. So starting in the next uh, uh, stitches just do one half double crochet in each of the stitches and then as a corner one half and then two chain and then one half and please do this all the way around. This is round number 43. So I'm just coming all the way back around and I'm just half double crocheting into the last one there and then just half double crochet into the chain two space and then chain two and then join to the first half double crochet that's been marked. Or if I haven't marked it just join to the first one. We're gonna get rid of this color and I'm just gonna move my stitch marker so I can see the beginning of this one. And uh, what I need to do for myself is that we need to switch off to the color C and then that will be the last one for today's uh, for today. So let's fasten this off and move to the color C. So moving on to round number 44 we wanna come into the very first chain two space and we're gonna do a standing single crochet. You can either chain one and then single crochet and it's up to you on how you wanna attack that. So what I need to do is that that's the first one. So the corners are made up of single crochet, chain two, single crochet. We're gonna do what is called as the camel stitch. So starting in the first one I want you to look at the first stitches here 
Do you see those? And then I want you to look one further back and it is the next one that is in behind. And you want to do a single crochet on the back on the camel stitch. So on the back one right there. And what this is is gonna do is it's gonna turn this and make it look like it's knit. So in the next back one, so once you start doing it you can see it. Okay and you're just single crocheting on the back. It's like the back uh, horizontal bar and it just makes the top kind of fold over and make it look like it's knitted. So you're gonna do that all the way across and chances are you've marked your um, half double crochet so you can see where the end of this row or side is and then where the next one begins. And then the corners as I mentioned it's single crochet, chain two, single crochet right into the space. So do this, this is the camel stitch and it does a really nice transition point. And next week when we attack this again, um, I really don't like that word, but the next week when we go to do this again is that you'll notice that what we're doing here will mirror and we'll be covering that next uh, next time. So let's just continue to camel stitch all the way around. So I've now just come all the way back around in round number 44. I'm just gonna single crochet in the first one of the chain two and then chain two and slip stitch to the beginning single crochet. Let's finish this off, uh, this yarn, let's weave it in and you'll join me next time as we continue our journey here on the Better Together Afghan and we'll work even further in the next time. So a lot of the major work, uh, just letting you know, a lot of the major work is almost done and uh, what we're going to be doing for the remaining of this Afghan is kind of retouch on what we already know and continue our journey. Till next time, we'll see ya. Two steps forward and two steps back. All right, so we've just now completed week number three. We're going to move on into week number four. And week number four, what were we gonna do? Well, you have to see next time as we continue our journey here. Please use our Instagram hashtags of the crochet crowd as well as your inspirations. And by all means, keep posting your ideas to Facebook. We wanna see your ideas come together. And of course, we're better together. Don't forget to support each other and leave those likes, loves, and comments for others to enjoy their creativity too. See you next time here on The Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at yarnspirations.com.